Next of Kin, 1982. Not to be confused with Next of Kin from 1989. The 1918, I think it's 1989 version. It's like not, okay, not a version movie by the same name is an American made one starring. Oh, hell, what the hell's name? Patrick Swayze. Patrick Swayze stars in that one along with Qui Gon Jinn. And uh, it's an awesome, brilliant movie. No bloody special effects whatsoever. This movie, completely different in some ways and in other ways the same. Yes, there's a little bit of incest. Yes, there's a little bit of nudity. But that's a backstory compared to... It's a drama that goes on for an hour and a half. It's Australian. And... It all builds up and builds up and builds up and she gets a bit more and more mental as she goes along looking after his own man. Sometimes she'll do it with a little flash and he dies, she can't deal with it, she goes a bit mental. The son, who is like the same age as her I think or a bit older, tries to rape her, she kicks him in the face, his mother's watching through the door and it, it starts off after all this is finished. So the first minute is, this is how I got here. And then you have an hour and a half of how you got there. And, you know, that you end up with like him trying to rape her. He, she, she kicks him in the head and she escapes and she goes to like the little cafe place. And then somebody smashes through with a truck and the end scene is kaboom. And everybody's trying to kill her. And, um, yeah, it was crap. I mean, I, I imagine 40 years ago when it came out, there was no bloody choice what to watch. There wasn't really any movies around apart from the ones coming out of Hollywood. But, my God, that was shit. So, next to Kin 982, Avoid. I downloaded it by accident because I thought it was next to Kin 1989. With Patrick Swayze and that guy, Cat Work Cat, if he's Scottish or Irish, he can't make his mind up. Quite on gin. I hate niggers. That guy. Um, yeah, this one was crap. When you consider that this is several years after the cult classic Mad Max. Yeah, this was crap. It would have been better if they had it with more of a cast because she basically was the only person on the screen. She was on screen nearly the entire time and she's not strong enough as a presence to carry the movie. 